Hi, I'm Freddie Figures, and I'm the CEO of Figures Communication, based right here in Florida. I was abandoned at birth, and I was adopted at two days old by two lovely parents. I got my first computer at the age of nine. It was non-functional at the time. I tinkered with it for about five or six times at home. Finally got the computer operational, which I still use today. What really gave me the inspiration to get into healthcare is I saw my father with dementia. It was to the point where he would forget to put on his pants, but he would always remember to put on his shoes. That gave me the idea of building this shoe for him. This shoe had the capabilities of GPS tracking and also a two-way communicator. So I could actually say, hey dad, talking to your shoe, he would say two words, it would instantly notify me of his location. At the age 12, I got my first job. Nick Quincy, I was one of the computer technicians there. When I was 15 years old, I started my first cloud computing services. In Dothan, Alabama, a tornado hit insurance office and a car dealership. The car dealership didn't have any of their customer's information on file. So that gave me a witty idea to start a cloud computer services, which allowed them to back up all of their information on our remote server in my backyard, not a huge data facility. I quit school because I sat inside a classroom for maybe two to three weeks. I got a job offer to build a computer program that took me four weeks to build for $80,000. With that investment, I started Ideas and got the resources to start Figures Communication at an early stage. We're proud to be an award-winning company, and we're the only minority-owned telecommunications company in the U.S. One thing that makes us very unique is we manufacture our own handsets. The Figures F2 has a built-in wireless blood glucose meter. As soon as you check your blood sugar, it sends that results instantly to your phone. It shares it with your closest relative, shares it with your provider, which is your doctor, and your insurance carrier. It also has a built-in mechanism that prevents texting and driving. When the F2 is in motion over 10 miles per hour, it automatically puts the SMS and the data into airplane mode. I currently own four utility patents and two design patents in telecommunications. Believe in what you do. Don't let anyone talk down to you. People will not see your vision. People would not believe in you, but just believe in yourself and keep thriving. Sometimes you will be amazed at what you can find on the internet. This is not a story that mainstream media told. This did not pop up in Times Magazine. I didn't even see this in Forbes. Not that I subscribe to any of those things, but I just didn't see them there. The way I found this story was on Instagram of all places. Yes, a social media site that usually posts a lot of various things depends on your taste. And I found this on my Explore page. And I said I have to do a video about this because my subscribers have to know about this guy and, you know, his story. And as you saw right there in the video, you got a glimpse of who he is. But I'm going to go ahead and read this article from blacknews.com that goes into a little bit more depth to him now the article was posted on november 27th 2018 and it goes into a little bit more detail than the actual video posted or, or should i say um spoke on <clears throat> it says 29 year old freddie figures was abandoned in a dumpster at birth and was adopted when he was just two days old by two loving parents he is now the founder and ceo of figures wireless a telecommunications firm valued at over 62.3 million dollars that you may never have heard of now what's interesting is when i was looking through various articles and whatnot i came across an article on atlanta black star that spoke on him back in 2016 at that time, his company was only valued at $2.2 million. In just two years, it went from $2.2 million value to $62.3 million. That, ladies and gentlemen, means that his company is flourishing and it is doing very, very well. At this rate, this man is probably going to hit $100 million probably, shoot, maybe by the end of next year. Who knows? Let me continue. It says, Freddie got his first computer when he was nine years old. It was broken when he received it, but he quickly figured out how to make it fully operational. That was the start of his innovative future. Later as a child, after learning that his dad had Alzheimer's, he invented a shoe for him that had a GPS tracker and a two-way communicator that he sold for millions. He got his first job at the age of 12 as a computer technician, and by the age 15, he had already started his own cloud computing services. 
Soon after, Freddie became the youngest person in history to hold an FCC license, allowing him to launch his own cell phone company. That company is now Figures Wireless, the only black-owned telecommunications company in the country that manufactures their own 4G LTE and soon 5G VLOTE smartphones and offers their own talk, text, and data plans. The cellular service is available in throughout the USA. Figures Wireless provides services to clients in every area along with one of the largest insurance companies in America. Their network expands to healthcare, aviation, government, business, and consumers. The company is already accepting pre-orders for their newest release, the Figures F2V OLTE phone that will be 5G compatible for the Christmas shipping. The F2 works on any carrier in the world which has a 5.7 inch full lamination screen and offers a stunning visual effect. The phone's silky technology innovation combines super fast screen response, speed with zero nighttime glare, and blue light filter technology. Even more, the phone's wireless charging technology allows users to leave their phone in their pocket or purse when within a 5 meter range of the figure's supercharger, the phone automatically starts charging without any cords or cables. Freddy Figures now owns several U.S. and international patents. Figures has launched other brands such as his own credit and debit card line fig cash that issues a premium luxury metal titanium card for all credit types through issue through visa and mastercard freddy figures also has figures health that has innovative healthcare products and the figure foundation that gives annually scholarships, supports relief efforts for natural disasters and other humanitarian deeds freddy figures has a simple philosophy on his foundation American consumers spend billions of dollars with large corporations that only provide a product or service to suck the life out of you with their profits, but those companies don't financially benefit, I'm sorry, financially impact the average person in our communities. I believe turning caring into action. And if you see a problem, find a solution to deliver an impact to change someone's life. I started my foundation with my personal salary and believe in giving back. I remember where I came from and simply what I would sh show a man profit if he gains the whole world but lose his soul in the process. I'm going to impact this world and change today for a better tomorrow because money is nothing but a tool. But with that tool, we can impact and change everyday people lives with opportunities. Wow. This was just an amazing find. Like no one sent me this story. I just found it. That's why I say I get a lot of very good stories that get buried a lot. I, you'll just be amazed what you can find on the internet and here I am thinking this man just created his own telecommunications company but I didn't know he had his own credit card line like that's huge for a black man a young black man in America that is huge no wonder no one's really talking about it all I'm going to say is this I'm glad that he got everything patented it seems like he has everything in order so everything is in his name all I'm going to say is this those those vultures those leeches they're going to come for his company they're going to try to do everything they can to try to get something out of him no tell them flat out no and i'm sure he's probably had people that have come to him and tried to get something from him or tried to get him to sell and i see that he's turned them down and i'm glad he did because they know he's holding on he's sitting on a gold mine they know that his business is going to be profitable it is profitable. I don't know why I said it's going to be. It is. That's why I also told people that the STEM department, the science, technology, engineering, mathematics is a very good uh, um, department for a lot of black people to get into because that's where the money is. Like I said, when I was in college, the STEM department was the most funded department on the campus. I didn't know then why that was, but after reading this and some other stories, I now know why. Because that is exactly where the money is. The money is in those STEM departments. But kudos to this man. He's only 29 years old. He's the same age as me. He took a situation which he came out of and turned it into something spectacular. But y'all let me know what you think down in the comments, like, share, subscribe. I'm almost certain that many people are not going to go and look into this company. I actually went to the website and the website is just well put together. Of course, it would have to be because this guy is extremely professional and he knows what he's doing. He, this man is very smart and very intelligent. Like you heard the story in the video. You heard me read the article. Like he knows what he's doing. He definitely has a good head on his shoulders. His future is already lit as it is. And 
he's creating one major thing. This man, and, and, I almost, and I almost didn't mention it. He's creating generational wealth. His kids, kids, kids are going to thrive off of this. So he definitely has an end game in sight that can carry on for generations. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is exactly what it's all about. But y'all let me know what you think about this story down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. The links will be in the description. I will talk to you in the next one.